Hey guys, welcome to another van conversion tour here. This is another Nissan MV200 build, and I'm super excited to show you this build because a lot different than my last one. Um, like the counter here is a lot different, and the solar system, and I'll show you through, show you this through the video. But a quick shout out to Skinny.413. He actually bought my last van, and it sold under 24 hours. Thank you so much, Skinny. He uh, did a lot of cool stuff to it, so check it out on Instagram. He put off-road tires on it, uh, a lift kit, and a trailer hitch, and it just turned out super cool. But let's get started on this van tour. So, on this side, I went with the Tommy Bahama window blockers. I saw this fabric inside the store, and, uh, I, and I knew I was going to go with a beach theme, so it just went super well with what I was doing. I love how they turned out because uh, just the blue goes really well with the blue interior I have here. With the interior, uh, in the interior in here and the interior right here, this is all marine grade interior, so what you would put inside of your boat or something like that. I only use marine grade interiors because those are the most sturdiest out of all the interiors. Super easy to clean up and just, you know, not scratch resistant, but if, you're, if we're talking about fabrics, then it, the best when it comes to scratches and on this side same exact thing you know I kind of just wanted to make it complement the van itself all right so for the inside on the left we have the stove and the sink and the lighting here so for the stove we have a gas stove and butane stove so this is just a portable regular stove I throw this in with all my builds just because in my experience I love the stove because uh, you know it's easy to switch between butane and propane and it's just you can bring it outside really quick if you wanted to. The sink here or, or, and faucet this is an outside shower as well so this pulls out and this door opens up so you can take a shower out there or you know wash off your surfboards or just you know whatever you need to get cleaned up here. We have the lighting. It is dimmable, and the fantastic fan here. So this is a reversible fan, so during the night you could blow the cool air in, and when you're cooking you could blow all that air out. So my favorite, my favorite thing in the van, I mean, to me that's what makes a camper van is having a fan either kind of bring the cool air in or bring the hot air out. On this side, we have the curtains. So the material for these curtains, this is actually what's made for outside furniture. Um, so I, again, I always try to go with things that are super sturdy, easy, cleanable. So I went with these fish curtains that go along with the beach theme. Everything in here is custom made by me or made by a partner of mine. And it does zip, of course, so you can get in and out. This is the bed extender slash storage area slash battery area. So what I mean by that is during the day, these seats here, they can go all the way back because this top piece folds down. Now during the night when you're ready to sleep, you flip this top piece up so it extends an extra nine inches for your feet. Down here, you can use it as storage area or you can use it as an extra storage for battery. So over here we have one battery and there is a space where you can actually put wires to an extra three batteries if you wanted to, which I think would be an overkill, but I wanted people to have an option to extend their battery bank if they wanted to. If not, they can use this storage as just regular storage. For the outlets, we have four outlets here. Um, it's not on right now because uh, the inverter is off. But uh, yeah, a lot of choices for that. And for DC electricity, we have two outlets, which which in case you don't know, these are always better to use because it's cleaner energy, doesn't use a lot of power for the battery bank. We have the battery monitor. It is at 67% as of right now. This what this van was garaged today, so not, not a lot of sun in the garage. For the refrigerator, So this was one of my favorite projects in the entire van. I was trying to make the fridge look like a treasure chest. 
in my head, I think it came out more like a jeweler, like a large jeweler's box, but I think it looks pretty cool. It opens up for a storage area here. So this could actually be used as a freezer as well, but for, for me, it's recommended as a fridge. And it locks, of course. And one thing I forgot to mention about the left cabinet here is that there is storage. Pretty large, actually. And you have to have the microwave. You gotta have, if you have a TV in the van, you gotta have a microwave. And everything is plugged in already. It's just the inverter's off. And behind the microwave, all the way behind me, we have the toilet. I don't know if you really see that, but. Let's set up the bed. So, in order to, in order to do that, this pulls out. so it all sticks. Very quick bed setup. And the bed is made out of the same material that I made everything else out of. Marine grade interior. Really good stuff. I made the ceiling the same, uh, same, same material of the bed. Because for the ceiling, I want it to be easy cleanable to wipe things off. For example, in the past, I used fabrics on the ceiling that weren't, weren't super easy to clean off. Something that would be in a normal vehicle. But this is, again, marine grade for the top of the ceiling as well. Um, the TV, of course. Pulls out, in, like that. So, you know you can get your PlayStation on or watch The Office or whatever you feel like doing. And then, if you feel like tailgating or just hanging out at the beach, you know, outside the vehicle, you can always twist it around like that. No problem. The solar was the trickiest part. In the past, I had to make many holes or use a lot of adhesives. The average person has to use around 12 screws per solar panel, which in my case would be around 36 holes since I have three solar panels at 300 watts um, altogether. I truly hate making holes in the roof and using adhesives, so my goal this build was to only have two holes in the, in the entire roof. One hole for the max fan and one hole for the wires coming in from the solar panels that goes to the inverter and the batteries. So in order to accomplish this, this design, I put an aluminum frame around the solar panels and I made four brackets going to the factory bolt holes from the manufacturer. I am super happy with this design because there are no gaps between the solar panels and no holes made by me to accomplish this. I also like the idea that this solar system could come off in a matter of five minutes, hassle-free, in order to make modifications in the future.